In this video, we're going to cover the arc, spiral, and line tools in Scribus, how to add them to your document canvas, how to create perfectly straight lines and vertical lines, and how to make line property adjustments. So let's get started. Welcome to class. Let's start by running Scribus. For this video, we'll be using the default document template. So when the new document wizard appears, we'll leave the defaults and select OK. Adding an arc. The arc tool is not a feature of Scribus I find myself using very often. However, it is available and you may find a use for it. So let's discuss adding an arc to the document. One way to add an arc is from the standard menu. We can select Insert Arc. Alternatively, from the shortcut ribbon, you can select the arc icon and then click on the document canvas with your computer mouse to draw the arc. Notice how the mouse icon changes to indicate that the shape has been selected. This will add the arc to the document with its default dimensions. Adding a spiral. If you have the need, you can also add a spiral to your document as well. To add a spiral from the standard menu, we can select Insert and then Spiral. From the shortcut ribbon, you can select the spiral icon and then click on the document canvas with your computer mouse as well. This will add the spiral to the document with the spiral's default dimensions. Let's add a spiral to the document. Adding Lines. The standard line tool is one of several convenient ways to add visual separation between elements in your document. To add a line from the standard menu, you guessed it, we can select Insert and then Line. Alternatively, from the shortcut ribbon, you can select the line icon and click on the document canvas with your computer mouse or by using the keyboard shortcut by pressing the L key on your keyboard. Notice how the mouse icon changes to indicate that the line has been selected. Now let's add it to the document by using our computer mouse and left clicking on the canvas. This will add the line to the document with its default dimensions. Straight lines. Similar to other graphic design applications, Scribus allows us to draw lines by snapping to various points. In order to use this ability, all we need to do is hold the control key down while drawing our standard line. Notice how the line jumps or snaps to the document while holding control and moving one of the points around on the document. What's happening is that Scribus is modifying the rotation of the line in 15 degree increments or snapping to various points of the document. Freehand lines. Straight lines are great, but what if we want to add a line with a bit of a curve? The answer to this could be the freehand line tool. We can start drawing a line by selecting Insert and then Freehand Line from the standard menu. Alternatively, from the shortcut ribbon, you can select the Line icon and click on the document canvas with your computer mouse, or by using your keyboard shortcut by pressing the F key on your keyboard. When the mouse icon changes, by left-clicking your computer mouse and dragging the mouse icon across the canvas, you can draw freehand lines. The lines produced from the freehand line tool generally look a little grainy, and this tool takes a bit of time to master if you're just using a computer mouse. Hold the control key down. Colographic lines. We've seen straight lines and we've drawn freehand lines. But maybe we still want to draw lines that are a little more refined or artistic. Maybe something that looks like a brush stroke. Let's take a look at colographic lines. Unlike many other tools, you can only change the settings of the colographic tool by using the standard menu. From the standard menu, we can select Insert and then Colographic Line. Then we can adjust our line's angle or width. Looking closely at the colographic line icon in the shortcut ribbon, you should notice a small arrow pointing downward. This arrow indicates that by holding the left mouse button down while clicking on the icon, you can access additional selections for angle and width. Let's give it a try. Again, we will click and hold the mouse button down for a few seconds until the additional selection menu appears. We will make some adjustments. And now let's click on the canvas to add it. 
do note that the only means of adding a holographic line is to use the shortcut ribbon. There is not even a keyboard shortcut set up by default for this tool. Let's add a few lines to the document to see what they look like. In this video, we discussed the arc, spiral, and line tools in Scribus. We discussed adding shapes and lines to our document. We identified that straight lines can be created using the line tool when creating a line by holding the control key down on your keyboard. Additionally, we touched on how to change the look of your arc, spirals, and lines by making various property adjustments. If this video helped you or you would like to have us cover a specific topic regarding the arc, spiral, and line tools in Scribus, be sure to let us know in the comments section. See you in the next one.